You're watching Kate Media News. I'm Gabrielle Rawson. I'm here today with Calmer Choices' new CEO, Emily Smalley. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, we invited you on the show today to discuss uh, your new appointment as Chief Executive Officer. Um, talk to me a little bit about that. When does it start? And, uh, and then I'd love to learn more about Calmer Choice from you. Great, great. Thank you so much. Uh, so my appointment starts actually January 1, 2022. So we've done a little pre-planning. Um, Fiona Jensen, who's our current CEO and founder, will be retiring at the end of the year. Uh, she's heading off on a fun adventure with her husband, and, um, and I'll be resuming the reins then. Wonderful. So for our viewers who aren't familiar with Calmer Choice, talk to me about Calmer Choice. I know you've been with them for a while in a different role. Thank yeah. you. So um, I've been the COO of Calmer Choice. I've been involved with the organization since 2017. I've held that role for the past about two and a half years. Um, and Calmer Choice is a mindfulness program. Uh, we operate in schools and in the community on Cape Cod and actually over the bridge, um, which is uh, new for us in the past couple of years. Um, and so we offer um, mindfulness programming to students to help increase their resilience, increase their well-being, help with self-regulation. And we do that by having our instructors come into the schools and teach our eight-week curriculum. Uh, we mainly work with uh, pre-K through eighth grade. Um, and then on the community side, we partner with community organizations across Cape Cod and beyond uh, to really offer um, an eight-week, four-week, and other workshop kind of mindfulness programs um, to similarly have the same impact to really help people with stress reduction, help people with uh, awareness, um, self-regulation, uh, compassion, and kindness for themselves as well. Wonderful. I know mindfulness is such a buzzword um, and has been for a while. Why is it so important to, to teach this to kids? Yeah, I think it's critically important because it's it's a tool. Um, it's a tool that, that young people can, when they start early, can have to really um, be present in the moment for themselves when they're feeling feelings that are really big and really uncomfortable and they're not really sure what to do. And if we can offer an opportunity for students to learn how to take a breath, how to pause, how to think before acting, we're teaching them at a young age skills that many of us adults don't really have. Um, and so we find often that, you know, as, um, as we serve young adults and adults, um, you know, we serve the whole age range, uh, we find that there, there are many of us out there that don't have these skills um, and didn't learn them at a young age. And it's a little bit harder when you're an adult to, to relearn what you've learned as, as coping skills throughout your life. So mindfulness is really just a tool. Um, and when it's taught early, it can help prevent, uh, you know, a lot of um, outcomes later in life that make it a little more challenging for people. Absolutely. Um, I remember my son coming home a few years ago when, when he was younger. He's going in high school now, but he said, Mom, they're teaching us his techniques to calm down. And I said, that's great. You know, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everyone can use that. <laughs> Absolutely. Very helpful for the parents, too. Um, yeah. Such a wonderful thing that you guys do. Um, so tell me, with your new appointment, what are you looking forward to doing? What sort of challenges are you facing um, and what sort of opportunities are you uh, hoping to expand? Thank you. Uh, you know, honestly, the, there's been a lot of silver linings in the past, you know, 18, 20 months for us with the pandemic. Um, we didn't think it was really possible to teach mindfulness virtually, um, but we've really pivoted, um, as many organizations have had to, and, and had great success with that. So we actually, just this past year, have quadrupled the number of community programs that we offer because we can do it virtually now. So someone could be in their living room and the state of California and still take one of our classes that are being hosted here on Zoom on Cape Cod. Mm -hmm. um, and so really what I'm most excited about um, is that just continued depth, that continued reach, increasing access for more people who need our skills. And I think that's really sort of my number one priority over the next couple of years is really to focus on increasing that access for anyone who needs us. Wonderful. Um, so how can people get involved? Um, is this a volunteer organization or um, are you always looking for fundraisers? Obviously, it's a nonprofit. So yes. um, how can people learn more about Calmer Choice? Sure, sure. So you can certainly visit our website, um, which is commerchoice.org. Um, we offer a full portfolio of classes for people. So if you're new to mindfulness, we have a one hour workshop you could sign up for, a four week class or an eight week class. Uh, we have opportunities to learn about um, our curriculum and how we teach by doing that. Um, you can also get involved. We certainly have volunteer opportunities for folks, um, really kind of administrative around the office, helping with events. You know, that's absolutely a possibility. We have a community stakeholder breakfast coming up on the 28th of September. Um, at the Cape Cotter, and that starts at 7.30 in the morning. And that's a chance to really hear about 
the full portfolio of what we offer and what is available to the community. Um, and that goes for individuals, it works for businesses, um, it works for um, obviously um, young people and their parents. Um, we do a lot of work with educators as well. So um, we have something that will work for you um, if you're interested in learning more about mindfulness. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for interviewing with us today. And again, congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.